So hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. It's time for episode 4. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Had to double check there. So I'm just reminding you guys as usual that the more extended version of this reaction has gone up over on my Patreon. Um, there's a whole bunch of reactions over there. There's two uploads a day and at the moment I'm working through shows like Squid Game, Doctor Who, Riverdale, The 100, What If. So yeah, there's a bunch of different things over there. So if you're interested in that, the link is down below. Let's just go. I've been reminded every week that I keep forgetting my usual intro for these reactions, which is the fear time. But now I'm four episodes in and I haven't done it. So I'm like, maybe season seven is just the unintroed season for me. Okay. So whose point of view are we seeing this? Is it yourself? We haven't seen Mo in a long fucking time. What happened to our brother? Wendell, wasn't it? Oh shit, we're living in a mansion. Does he have a road sign taped to his titties? Al, I was just, I was just talking about her last episode. We haven't seen Alan forever either. This is like the group of the disappeared motherfuckers. The walker just walks straight in through the front door. Are you sure? Yeah, you have a security issue. Does Wendell he make it here? Ah now, ha, ah now. Ever hard. You think you looked. I will look harder. I will find him. That would be me. God, I can't even. Yeah. I'd be gone looking for a minute. No one would stop me. I want you to know I'm still looking. I'll be riding the airwaves again tomorrow. Over and out, buddy. The strength that must take. Oh my god. No more? <laughs> That's what we're calling the baby. Wait. Who's baby? No, we've been holed up in the Pennsylvania. Where are you? That's the name of the hotel I stay in when I'm in New York. It's Hotel Pennsylvania. You went on a holiday, Morgan? Yeah, she saved our keysters. Morgan, you there? No, he hung up. He lost interest. Wow. Oh my God, the walkie stopped working. Pretends to be shocked. They work in, in The Walking Dead. I'm pretty sure they work in World Beyond. Fear? Nah. No fucking communication for you. Oh, yes, there's an old... Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's a head in the box. Careful. Friend's head was meant to be in that box, not my brother. Well, there seems to have been a mix up because your brother seems to be riding shotgun, <laughs> bodiless. He's in the Pennsylvania. Is that a hotel? Ah, Rufus! Well, he's not going to kill you because he needs you. He just told you so. How do you know about Wendell? I told you. I heard what you said. Unless you want your brother to wind up like mine. Don't you threaten my brother, you son of a fuck. When I need to find somebody, I will stop at nothing. And I do mean nothing until I find them. Alright, so you're dedicated. That's so sexy of you. Let's Morgan just go Dale then. In exchange for your brother. You should be asking what's going to happen to Wendell. He's trying to get her all emotional. He's like, your brother's missing. Your brother's missing. Is he dead? He could be. I can help you. Call Morgan. Morgan, you copy? Absolute traitor. I would do the same thing for my brother, though. Morgan should know this is a trap, right? <laughs> Alright, that's a pretty cool weapon. A shovel spear? I like. What? I don't think you're gonna find him in there. What you doing? Your brother's a dead man walking. He could be as far as Spokane. <laughs> he can smell the living and the dead. Atta boy. Oh, oh. Maybe, yeah, maybe you should follow him. <laughs> Give these two their proper rest first. Rufus, what if Rufus does find him and he's just sitting there by himself in the distance like, guys, you were supposed to fucking follow me. You'd go a hell of a lot quicker if you respected the dead. You wouldn't be toting around your brother's head in a box like a goddamn pet rock. That's a sensitive we subject. Look, driving around and search and rescue SUV and all you're looking to do is kill. He's a dog, ain't even yours. Help you do that, kill him. You don't know a damn thing about me. Is someone attacking Rufus? That's right, man. Grab your murder stick. Hang on now. I didn't do nothing. You are about to kill my dog. dog You're courting death, my that friend. He came at me. How do you train a dog to be a cadaver dog? My dog, she won't even come when I call her. 
Is he still naked? Oh no, he's got boxers on. Okay. Imagine you get cast in Fear the Walking Dead. And you're all excited and your agent is like, we got you a show. It's really cool. And then you turn up on set and they're like, you gotta strip down to your boxers. So first day on set. Is there someone in the back seat or am I seeing things? Oh no, is it Rufus? No, but she was trying to lose you. Oh my god! <laughs> Worst lift experience ever. Good thing you guys were wearing your seatbelts. Oh, is that the radiation clock sound? You know the little thing they have that goes when the radiation is like threatening. Did they crash right beside a bomb? She just tried to push him out of a moving car and here he is trying to talk her down from a panic attack. You know what? I don't think he's all that bad. Searching for some hikers that got trapped in a forest fire. I twisted my ankle wound up in a heart of the burn zone. At least I knew. He did, but it was Rufus. I just when I thought I couldn't love dogs anymore. Feel my heart beating across the woods. That's what you meant when you said I wouldn't be looking for him if he was dead. Morgan, I'm in a little bit of trouble. Putting it lightly. You're not a killer. His whole job was saving people Maybe before the apocalypse, like so I don't I don't think he's gonna kill Morgan. That being said, it's different when it comes to family. You know? He's got his brother's head in the box. My man's got some issues. Is there like a sunroof to the car that you can climb up to? Oh god, our eyes. Okay. I put your head on, Morgan Jones. Nah, man, this was my brother. To be fair, like in Morgan's defense, he must be proper fucking spooked if he thought he beheaded this guy and then there this guy comes swinging his fucking shovel axe at you. Rufus, no! Oh, did it bite Rufus? <laughs> that poor dog didn't do anything to anyone. He doesn't deserve this. No, he doesn't. Wendell and I were not exactly twins, but every time they put my incubator next to the other baby that was born that day, I started breathing. <laughs> You know, I say it all the time sarcastically and so does everyone. Every time like a gorgeous, beautiful little good boy, every time a good dog turns up, everyone's first response is don't kill the fucking dog. And every time they kill the fucking dog. This is the shit that just makes me genuinely sad inside. Moral of the story, if you find yourself in the apocalypse with your dead brother's head in the box, don't be tossing that shit about like it's nothing. Where we're going, we're gonna need all the help we can get. I understand that that's the theme of the show, is that people are the future and you need to trust and love and forgive. Um, I just don't have it in me, I'm not built that way. So like, I would straight up die. I would d die in a pit of spiteful vengeance by myself. Tell us why you're here. Listen, we had a long day that involved dog death, okay? It's too much of a coward to come down here himself. It's okay, Howard. I love he's laughing. You hear he's laughing. You just know it's him. So he's alive. Is he okay? Not a revolving door. Once he's out, there's no going back in. Talk about running a tight ship. If you if you exit the building, you don't get to come back in. Perhaps he didn't want you to know how dire his own circumstances. That's enough. He, Grace, and that baby are barely scraping by. It's not true. You didn't see the fucking floor of magical hidden food in the submarine. But all we have is Strand's word. Like, we, we can't even be sure that Wendell is in there. If Wendell knew, he'd come looking for me. 
You're in no position to be making any Please. Yeah. Nice and easy. Breathe. You come back with me? Both of you could. You're not gonna get sick. Oh, she gave him the pills! Saving that for Wendell. Oh, jeez. This is a real heartwarming episode, dead dog aside. So wait, that guy, he's just gonna walk off into, into, the, into the distance? Walk off into the sunset and we're just not gonna hear from him again? Oh, that, that filter changed though. He's the one who wants to see this himself. What is it? A giant horn? Ah oh, yeah, that was a real emotional, kick him in the crotch of the feelings kind of episode, wasn't it? I don't know though, that guy being introduced and we got this whole heartwarming episode revolving around him and his dead brother and closure. I mean, I guess you could say that it was kind of to explain Wendell and Sarah's story or whatever, but like, it just feels a bit odd to bring him in and then just have him walk away with his little pill of anti-radiation stuff. Nonetheless, I like this one. I do. I feel like it was a bit, it was a bit out there in sections, yeah, but... It's fear. You know, fear is always going to be a little bit out there. I'm digging Strand as a villain. He strides in with his evil Joker laugh and his little Peter Pan hat and I'm just like... So yeah, guys, like I said at the start of the video, the link to my Patreon is down below where there's two uploads a day. There's a bunch. I think there's like 13 or 14 different TV show reactions that are ongoing weekly at the moment over there. I'm doing the original Star Trek, the 100. I'm nearly finishing up with Lucifer, which makes me sad. So yeah, the link is down below and the link to my Twitter and Instagram is also chilling down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you all soon.